So if we're doing a small bust adjustment, we're gonna go from a B cup to an A cup. We're gonna use the slash method. If I'm working with cup size, this is probably my preference. It's more exacting for me. We are going to cut up the fold line of the dart to the bust point. Then we're going to draw a line from the bust point to somewhere in the neck. It can be in the center of the neck, close to the edge, close to the shoulder, doesn't really matter. You find whatever line of attack you want. We're also going to cut one from the bust line over to the arm's eye. I would do it probably in the bottom half of the arm's eye. And we are going to cut from the fold line of this dart into the bust point. So our bust point is gonna be quite a pivot, okay? Fold line in to the bust point. And I am just going to continue this up to the neck. From bust point, I'm going to continue that up to the arm. From bust point out to the seam line. Okay, can you see how that's spreading? Now, if I, when I increased a bust size, whatever I added out to the side of the bust, I also added to the bottom of the garment because we have more curve to go out and cover and still end up at the same point. If I'm making it smaller, I have the opposite problem. I'm going to need to take out of the bottom. So, down here at the bottom, I'm just gonna clip across the bottom to the seam line and I'm going to cut this piece off. A relief cut over here on the seam allowance, two but not through, two but not through, two but not through, and two but not through, so that all my paper pivots. It will look like this super sketchy thing. Okay, that's pretty normal. Now, if you're increasing, you're gonna do the same thing we did in the seam method. You're just gonna spread it here at the bust point, but we are decreasing. So I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna measure over on my bust point the quarter of an inch because that is what we're making it smaller. And I'm gonna shift all these pivots into that quarter of an inch. The top two pivots right there on the quarter of an inch, I'm gonna secure my paper. This one, I'm not gonna have it touch that because I don't want it to continue this way at an angle. I need it to be coming straight down from that mark and staying perpendicular to the center front. And down here, this one at the bottom, I need to shorten it by the same quarter of an inch. This piece I'm gonna reattach, but I'm gonna make it also shorter, the quarter of an inch. Now, as you can see, my bust dart here may or may not have been affected. I may or may not have extra space here. That's pretty normal. We may have to take some out of the arm's eye. Sometimes we have to play with this. I am shorter here. My seam allowance here is different. So what do I have to do? I have to fold in the dart. Make sure I redraw where's my dart tip. My original dart tip is here, but we closed this distance a quarter of an inch and I want this dart tip centered. So I'm gonna bring this dart tip half the distance, make a new one. Same with my bus point, my bus point was here. I need it to be dead center, so I'm gonna bring it half the distance. Draw a new bus point. I'll have to draw a new circle, obviously, because that circle's kind of a train wreck. New dart from the new dart tip to old dart edge. And old dart edge 
All these extra lines in the middle are no longer relevant. I need to fold my dart and it's gonna be kind of delicate now. You have to be careful with your tape. I'm gonna fold this dart. E e so that I can clean up my seam lines. Draw a new seam line, new cut line. Cut that while it's folded. Does that make sense?